in the bursting Staples Center or through multiple webcasts, tens of thousands of people attended the ceremony in memory of American rapper Nipsey Hussle, who was gunned down on March 31st in his Los Angeles neighborhood. Most young blacks and Latinos, often wearing t-shirts with a photo of the artist who died at age 33, had begun to flock to the Staples Center, a stadium located in the heart of the city, early Thursday morning of Los Angeles who also hosted Michael Jackson's public funeral in 2009. A total of 21,000 places were freely available on the internet to the public by the organizers of this celebration of life. They were torn off in just a few minutes. Many celebrities, like rapper Snoop Dogg, also from Los Angeles, or singer Anthony Hamilton were present. In front of the crowds, the ceremony began an hour late, while a DJ played the album Victory Lap, which had earned Nipsey Hussle a nomination in the last Grammy Awards. Various speakers followed each other in the gallery, after an evocation in photos of the life of Nipsey Hussle, accompanied by the world pipe My Way sung by Frank Sinatra. The rapper's casket, surrounded by hundreds of flowers, was arranged in the middle of the stage. A message sent by former U.S. President Barack Obama to the deceased's family was also read on stage. I did not know Nipsey but I discovered her music through my daughters, Obama wrote. He was an example to follow for the young people, he continued, praising his social commitment in the poor neighborhood of Crenshaw, south of Los Angeles. At the end of the ceremony, a procession must cross this part of the city to allow everyone to pay a last tribute, and thousands of fans were already spread over the course, along about 40 kilometers.